In this video, we're going to be learning about relationships, and that is adding relationships between two tables. And in version 1.0, the way that you add relationships is completely new, and it just makes it so much easier. So let's go ahead and go to our products table bread. I'll go to tools, database, and then go to the products, and we want to edit the bread. So now let's say that maybe we wanted to associate a user that added the product. So first, what we need to do is to add a row because if a user belongs to a product, then that product needs to have a row for the user ID. So let's go back to the database builder and let's go ahead and edit this table. So now I'm gonna say that I want to add a new column and I want this to be a user ID. So this is going to reference the user that uploaded the product. So let's go ahead and update that table. And now let's go back to edit the bread for the products. And if we scroll down, you can see that we now have this user ID and it doesn't really matter what we set this to because we are going to create a relationship for this user ID. So let's go ahead and say create a relationship. And I'm going to say that a product belongs to, and I'm going to say a user. And the namespace that I want to reference this user is just going to be the app slash user namespace. So then I can say which column from the products is used to refer to the user. So then this is going to be the user ID row. And then I can say that I want to display the user and I could say email or I could say name. This way this will show up in the dropdown. And I want to store the ID of the user inside of this user ID field. So I can say add new relationship. And now if I scroll down, then we will be able to see that we have this user relationship here and we can click on open relationship details and then we can edit any of the relationship details. So then I could drag and drop this to any location that I want. So maybe I want this to be above the body. I'm going to drop that right there and then I'm going to click on submit. So now if we go back to the products and click on browse bread, then you can see that we don't have any user associated with this product. So let's go ahead and click on edit. And now you can see that the users, we have a drop down here. So we only have one user. Let's go ahead and add another user so you can see that this will populate based on all the users we have in our database. So I can go to users, add new. I'm just gonna give us a name of John Doe. We'll say John Doe at gmail.com. We give them a password and we'll give them a role of admin. Let's click on save. And now if we go back to our products and we go to edit, and now we click on the drop down, we can say that this product was added by either admin or John Doe. So let's go ahead and say that we just want this to belong to the admin. And then we can click on save. And then sure enough, now you can see that the admin is the user associated with this product. So just like that, we can create these belongs to, has one, or belongs to many relationships inside of the Voyager Bread Builder. So adding relationships is pretty easy. You just seen a quick example of a belongs to relationship. But go ahead and check out the documentation and you can learn how to do all the different relationships that you can do inside of the Voyager Bread Builder.